John, we are here with John Katakis from Ko'olau Ukuleles. Aloha, John. How are you? Hey, how are you? So, uh, please tell us about Ko'olau Ukuleles. Okay. Uh, well, many years ago, we started uh, with the Ko'olau Ukulele, um, a custom high-end ukulele. We decided from the beginning we were going to make high quality, all solid woods, and uh, nowadays it's proving that that's what people want. They want a good ukulele. Yeah. Who doesn't want that? Yeah, yeah. of course. <laughs> Uh, we're still doing the Ko'olau, but it's more of a custom line. It takes okay. many months to build. And uh, an example here is we have a, our solid body. It's actually hollowed out, oh, wow. a tenor. Then uh, relatively new is our new arch top. Arch top yeah. All hand carved. Beautiful. Hand carved spruce, mm -hmm. hand carved koa. We'll make it from a variety of different woods. Nice. And how Beautiful long does it take purplings. for you to make one of these? I know the, that's this is, uh, I don't work. know, several weeks of right. an all hand carved. Let's hear how it sounds. Pardon? Beautiful. Beautiful. Good projection. Then, uh, a, what we call a contemporary uh, CS model. A little bit different shaping. And uh, then we have now, starting 2013, the, uh, the models begin at model 100. Okay. Okay, slot yeah, head slot or head, solid slot. head. Uh, then several years ago, as you probably know, we came up with Pono. Mm -hmm. uh, instead of bumping up production, we decided to leave it as it is, a custom line, and build what you might call a clone to the Cola. But so, more affordable Pono. price. All still same shapes, same yeah. molds. It's our company. So all solid woods, bone, nut, and saddle, uh, all the same high quality and currently the, the most models are either the acacia which is the same species as koa or mahogany and actually the mahogany costs a little bit more because it's more expensive wood for me yeah. mahogany used to be a cheap wood and it's becoming uh, actually more expensive i see, I see, I see. then uh, in the pono line we have what's called pro classic and we have it in either all acacia and that comes with bindings and purplings and and here's uh, rosewood Beautiful. with cedar. Nice, deep, gloomy song. Over here, we have uh, slotted headstock, but this is the Macassar Ebony. Oh, wow, beautiful. With cedar. So, Macassar Ebony is an interesting wood. Uh, it's actually the highest grade of ebony available. Most people know of Madagascar ebony. This is Makassar. It comes from one island and it's very rare. I don't know how long I'll be able to do it and keep cutting it. And then combined with cedar is this rich, deep tone. Yeah, it sounds really yeah. good. It projects really nice. And then a new, a new model <clears throat> is uh, in Hawaii, it's called Wiava Aba. Uh, around the world, they call it Tamarind, which is more of the Hispanic name. But uh, Queen Lilia Kualani, she still has it in her palace. This tree, still growing. It's called Wiava Aba. And uh, the, the pods, people know, of, they're the kind of sticky pod, and they use it in Malaysian and Thai cooking and all. But it makes for uh, the all white kind of looking ukulele. And it's uh, also a nice deep tone. Most people, um, you know, they, they usually think when they see a white ukulele that's going to be bright, but this is really nice and mellow. No, something. this is yeah. deep and mellow, yeah. And, uh, but, but still, the, the main line of the Pono is uh, the acacia and the, and the mahogany. And then we take the custom orders for the koala and, and stay backlog. You probably know my son Noah. Yeah, and, uh, he does all the stuff. Yeah, now. he stays busy with the koala. And then over here is Danny and he works with me. 
with uh, Pono. <laughs> and so we stay busy. Cool. So one last question. Where do you see the ukulele headed? And what does Ko'olau play in that, uh, towards that goal? Well, we see the ukulele as uh, not a passing fad. Yeah. We never did. I think many of the music store dealers, they weren't too sure because they remember the days when it was just kind of a fun thing right. and it went and it came and it went, but it's here to stay. And it's here with many different genres of music. I mean, the Nashville folks and their country music. Right. Of course, the jazz people, you know, with Abe Lagrimas and Benny Chong and Lyle Ritz, and they've been doing this as jazz for many, many years. Uh, the, all respected over the world. musicians. Very, very respected. So they're finding that it's, it's blends in with many different kinds of music and it's so nice to see that it's it's here to stay and we like to feel that we've added to the to the high quality of the instrument too just trying to do your part yeah whatever you can Thank you. <laughs> right on so where can we find ko'olau and pono ukuleles well you can find them in uh, just a few select stores we don't have a lot of stores because uh, it's a higher end instrument is that and a website it, yeah, it's uh, on our website. We have all of our dealers, and uh, we've centered on having them in strategic, geographical locations. We don't want them on every corner. They don't need to compete with each other. So, and we want stores that really love the instrument, not just, hey, this is a cool thing. Let's hang a few ukuleles on the wall. We want them to really love the. You, you know. We want to go forward. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And so when they love it, it comes from their heart. And the, okay. the customer sees that. Great, great. Uh, so what is that website? Our website yes. is koolauukulele.com. Koolauukulele.com. Well, thank you so much, John. Okay, brother. Thanks. All right. Uh, you want to say anything to the ukulele on the ground audience? I appreciate uh, all of your sincere interest. I appreciate uh, your support of koolau and pono. And uh, mahalo. Thank you so much. Check them out, koolau and pono ukuleles. Aloha.